Hello and welcome to this exploring session of the Chester Mystery Cycle, and we're at play 18, The Resurrection. This is the Skinner's play. It's fairly long, dealing with Pilot, who changes verse style and character somewhat from some of the earlier plays, and it's the guarding of the tomb, where the resurrection occurs, there's a bit of an argument on how to spin the event, as there are a number of knights. The number is to be discussed. There are a number of knights guarding the tomb, and it's a case of Pilate, Annas and Caiaphas come up to them after the resurrection has occurred and go, you had one job, and I'm wondering, I'm thinking ahead, I'm not 100% certain, but it's possible that that's pretty much it for broad comedy in the cycle. As we're going to go for more po-faced miserabilism when we uh, we as we move forward, I think there are a few moments of comedy, but I I think that's probably it for the really broad brushstrokes. And uh, the play ends with the appearance of Jesus to the three Marys, and also to Mary Magdalene by herself. There are some textual variations in Chester, so um, in some versions the play just sort of stops randomly, in others it completes and that's the text we were using for this you can go to the show notes to find a nice accessible online version of the text to follow as you listen at your leisure there will as i say be some textual variations so uh, it uh, it may get a little confusing at times but uh, hopefully it should flow beautifully but the point of the exercise is of course this is a first stab at getting into the play This was workshopped with our Beyond Shakespeare Irregulars on a dull Saturday morning in October 2019. It's nearly a full year ago. There are stumbles and errors, but that is par for the course. More fulsome audio versions of all these Exploring Session plays one day will be produced. And as we will be moving on to producing a proper version of this anon, please share your thoughts or suggestions about where we go from here. Submit suggestions, clarifications and passive-aggressive abuse either on our Patreon page by joining us, Beyond Shakespeare there, or on Twitter at Beyond Shakes, or you can email us at admin at beyondshakespeare.org. The irregulars for this session were Liz Cole, Richard Fawcett, Mark Scanlon and Alan Scott, and I'm, as per usual, your host, Robert Crichton, and this is Play 18 of the Chester Mystery Cycle. Enjoy. Um, play 18. 18. Um, we are in the home straight. Your pilot, we're Alice and Caiaphas, that's all fine. So if I could ask, Alan, if you could do first soldier when right. it comes to it, and then we'll figure out the second and third soldiers. I think Richard can be second soldier, and third soldier will figure out. Liz, you can probably then be third soldier. I think okay. that works. I think because Annas and Kaif has then disappeared, but I think I, over, I, I think I hang around a bit. Annas seems to be the, the, the fallback, whereas the, the, I'm, uh, Kaif has is the more aggressive. Anyway, Pilot starts off and say, it, it, it's like we first eight lines, it's as per in the past, admittedly in some form of French, I presume. Some form of French. Yes. Uh, have your best. Do your best. Just read it as it is. Uh, read it as it's writ. You don't have to do a silly French accent or anything. <laughs> and then it turns into a very different verse style. Uh, it's a very different tone. Her vous, Sir Caiaphas. Et vous, her vous, Sir Anas. Et some disciple Judas. Guild treason, fut. Et grande, Lucy, de lucite. A moi parfait, deliver her. Nostradam, you judge, per loy roy estreet. You lordings and ladies so lovely and leer, you kemps you know knights of kind, hearkens all hitherward my hest to hear, for I am most fairest and freshest to find, and most highest I am of estate. For I am prince peerless, most royal man of riches, I may deal and I may dress, my name is Sir Pilate. For Caesar, lord most of paucity, honoured my estate and my degree, when that he sent Jesus to me, to deliver him to the dead. They cried on me all with on voice, the Jews on me made great noise. I gave them leave to hang him on cross, this was through Jews red. I dread, yet lest he will us grieve, for that I saw I may well believe. I saw the stones began to cleave, and dead men up can rise. 
in this city all about, was none so stern, ni so stout, that durst look up for great doubt, they could so soon agree. And therefore, Sir Caiphas, yet I dreed, lest there were peril in that deed, I saw him hang on rude and bleed, till all his blood was shed. And when he should his death take, the weather waxed wondrous black, late thunder and earth began to quake, thereof I am adread. And this was yesterday about noon? Yea, Sir Bishop, this is one. To speak therefore we have to done, for I let bury him soon in a tomb of stone. And therefore, sirs, amongst us three, let us ordain and oversee, if there any peril be, ere we hence go. Sir Pilot, all this was done as we saw after soon, but believe at afternoon the weather began to clear. And, sir, if it be your will, such word you let be still, and speak of another skill, lest any man us hear. Yea, Sir Pilot, not for thy, I saw him and his company raise men with sorcery that long before were dead. For, and therefore, be any more such last, last which can be of such witch, witchcraft, that body be from us raft, advise you well, I read. Yea, Sir Pilate, I tell thee right, let us ordain many a hard knight, well armed to stand and fight with power and with force, that no shame to us befall, let us ordain here amongst us all, and true men to us call to keep well the course. Now, by Jesus that died on rude, methink your counsel wondrous good, the best men of kin and blood, anon I will call in. Sir Colfran and Sir Jarephas, Arrow ye sat, and Sir Geropas. We pray you, sirs, here in this case, anon look ye ne blin. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's nice, he's calling out for the, 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 the knight. And it's strange, it, um, he seems to do four names, but we only get three soldiers, so maybe one of them's just mute. <laughs> Later on, Parater. Um, or, well, I just wonder, because it's usually four, they do things in fours, they don't do things in threes, mm. they do twos, they do fours. Um, I'm wondering if just simply it's it's a it's for someone who's not very good, <laughs> and he doesn't get any lines. He just gets to stand there holding a spear. It's an, it's it's, it's blue button again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, or am I just reading it wrong and there's one yeah. of those lines is conflated into another? Um, it it Sir Jerifas Aris. You know, is that Sir Jerifas? And it's his surname Aris uh, Ar- mm. Arisiet, um, on the mm. other. I don't think so. It seems to be four. So that's interesting. We've got a silent soldier. Um, anyway, and they arrive, and in a flash. Hey, my knight, stiff and stern of heart, ye be bold men and smart. I warn you now at words short, with you I have to done. Sir, we be here all and some, as bold men, ready bone, to drive all your enemies all adown, while we may stand. We be your knights, every one. Faintness in us, there shall be none. We will be broken upon thy phone, wherever he sh- may be found, for no dread that we will wand. But I am well to understand, ye be men doughty of hand, I love you without lack. But that prophet that was done draw, though through the recounting of your law, but yet something me stands in awe of words that he spake. Forsooth this I heard him say, that he would rise the third day. Now surely if he so may, he hath a wondrous tatch. Yea, let him rise, if that him dare, and I may of him beware, he bode never a worse char, ere that he wend away. I help to slay him erewhile, weans he to do us more guile? Nay, it is no peril, my head here dare I lay. Yea, let him quicken hardly, whilst my fellows here and I may awake and stand him by, he scapeth not uncaught. For he and once heave up his head, that he should be soon dead. I shall never eat more bread, nay, never more be sought. Have good day, sirs, we will be gone. Give us our charge, every one. Now fares well, the best of blood and bone, now takes heed unto my saw. For as I am a true Jew, if that you any treason sue, there is none of you all shall it eschew. But he shall be to draw. Now, fellows, we be charged high. Our prince hath sworn that we shall die without any prophecy or any other entrare. But if we done as the wise, 
I read us, we write well, advise, though he be bold, he shall not rise, but one of us beware. Sir, the most wit lieth in thee, to ordain, to oversee. You had been the eldest of us three, and man of most renown. The tomb is here at our hand, set us there as we shall stand, that if he rise we shall find to beat him all down. And I shall now set us so, that if he rise and would go, one of us, or else two, shall of his, see of his uprest. Stand thou here, and thou there, and I myself in middle mere. I trow our hearts will not fear, but it was stoutly whist. So he does state specifically there are three posts uh, of guard there, so it must only be three, and the, the fourth person must be illusory. Because you there, you there, and I myself in the middle mere. So mm. it's, it's definitely a three-point guard. So maybe that, that intimation on the previous page, maybe that's just something that survived from an earlier version. Because this definitely feels... In, yeah. It definitely flicks between an older verse form and a newer verse, a slightly more mm. longer verse line. It's, 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 it's not quite total... Um, but it does, it, it does feel like this has been under, undergone some substantial revision. Perhaps this point. was written for a smaller cart. Mm. Seems slower. It does, it does. I mean, it, Pilot really comes on and thinks about, you know, all the other day, all these dead people were rising, or, you know, this has got me unnerved, and, and the others try and calm him mm. down a bit. And, and he's a very different character, and, and, and nothing really is happening. I mean, it is very static, and... Thinking about it logically as a progression, you've had the crucifixion, high emotion, you've had the harrowing of hell, which is all spectacle, and actually maybe the audience needs... Mm, this is the wind-down. Yeah, yeah. This is the wind-down. Um, yeah. And, and the, the, actually this is a tonal shift. Anyway, Jesus appears, and Jesus gets a chance to... Uh, you get a chance to stretch your muscles. You are Jesus Resurgence. Jesus is, Resurgence, yeah. Jesus Christ, it's... Uh... So, is he, is he more interesting or is he less interesting? Let's find out. Absolutely. Earthly man that I have wrought, awake out of thy sleep. Earthly man whom I have bought, of me thou take no keep. From heaven, man's soul, I sought into a dungeon deep. My dear Leman from thence I brought, for rueth of her I weep. I am very prince of peace and king of free mercy, who will of sins have release on me the call and cry. And if they will of sin cease, I grant them peace, truly, and thereto a full rich mess in bread, my own body. I am very bread of life, from heaven I light and am send, who eateth that bread, man or wife, shall live with me without end. And that bread that I you give, your wicked life to amend, becomes my flesh through your belief, and doth release your sinful band. And whosoever eateth that bread, in sin and wicked life, he receiveth his own death. I warn both man and wife. The witch bread shall be seen instead, the joy is a full rife. When he is dead, though fools read, then is he brought to pain and strife. Yes, and so angels and uh, uh, things, I'm sort of just trying to break that one down. Is angels take him away? No, two uh, angels after the resurrection. Christ's resurrection. Yeah, so, oh, because they all get blinded, yes, I, I, I remember now, yes. Uh, one of the head, one of the foot. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and we revert to being soldiers again, and... and it's a good confusion. speech. It's a good speech. It's a good speech, yeah, and he's, he's got a bit of more energy to it. He's definitely, yes. he's come back with more vigour, yes. hasn't he? Um, and um, I don't know if he's got props in his hands, but it does suggest that, you know, that... <laughs> It is that bread, but it's not this bread. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's also an interesting doctrinal one. This one about the eating the bread in sin, mm. which hasn't really come down as sort of standard orthodox doctrine. It, it's it's coming on from um, from that Judas thing of uh, yeah. uh, you Judas by 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 uh, by eating yeah. that and then betraying me. You 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 are so stuffed. Yeah. Um, so it's it's, uh, but you're right. I mean, I don't think that's something that pops up very often in the modern church. 
to confess before you take communion? Yes. Mm. So in that case, if you, you confess, you don't, you, have, yes, you don't so, have sin. So, so, yes, so mm. that's, that's the point. So, yes, you should yes, get the confession. Take, confe- take communion untrue. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, anyway, back to reverting to soldiers and... They wake up. They wake up. Out. <laughs> Alas, where am I? So bright about is hereby that my heart holy out of slough is shaken. It's great. There's two thoughts immediately come to me here. Is you're, you're performing in Chester in an af- <laughs> late afternoon. So bright about is hereby. <laughs> oh, the odds on that are pretty low. Um, also in my script, uh, uh, slough is um, with a capital L, so it sounds out of slough is slaken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get... Uh, 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 pre- previous uh, uh, first soldier, uh, give us that again <clears throat> but uh, 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 from the top. Sorry. Out! Alas, where am I? So bright about it hereby that my heart holy out of slough is sta- shaken. So foul feared with fantasy that was I never in none annoy? For I wot not wittily whether I be on sleep or waken. Where art thou, Sir Bachelier? About me is wonder clear. Wit me once without weir, for fearder I never was. To remove far or near me fails might and power. My heart in my body here is hoven out of my breast. Alas, what is this great light shining here in my sight? Marred I am both main and might. To move have I no mean. These two beasts that are so bright, par I nay have to rise aright. Me fails with them for to fight, would I never so fain. Yea, we are shent sickly, for Chisu has risen, well, what I, out of the sepulchre mightily, and therefore I have in mind, and as dead here can I lie, speak might I not, now spy, which way he took truly, my eyes they were so blind. Yea, I will creep forth on my knee, till this peril passed be, for my way I may not see neither earth nor stone. Yea, in a wicked time we nailed him on the rude tree. For, as he said, in days three risen he is and gone. And high we fast we were away, for this is God's son, Vere. Strive with him we nay may, that master is and more. I will to Caiaphas for my fay. These sooth openly for to say, Farewell, sirs, and have good day, for I will go before. We two lang here, it is no boot, for needs to Sir Pilot we moot, and tell him both crop and root, so soothly as we wist. For and the Jews know, as well as we, that he were risen through his paucity, then should the last era be, worse then was the first. Hearken, Sir Pilot, these sooth to sayn, Jesu that was on Friday slain, through his might is risen again. This is the third day. There came no power him to fet, but such a sleep on us, he said. Honest, mate, honest, it was like this. Yeah, like absolutely. This. Uh, yeah. And it, it, it's interesting <laughs> that... Um, excuses, excuses. Uh, that's, that's quite a lengthy passage for the audience to stand there and say, we know, we know, we know the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, the first, uh, the first soldier, is it? Uh, who, who's first soldier? Me. Um, so is you the one who's left? Who's left? Third Me. soldier. It's third soldier. So th- you, you left. I left. And then you were about to come back in. And go, yeah, I will to Caiaphas. Oh, he comes back in with Caiaphas. Oh, I see. That's, 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 that's the logic. He's gone on. I will to Caiaphas, and then he'll come back with Caiaphas and Annas. So yes, so you do come back with mm. that. Yeah. But you'll still read Annas in a bit, because you don't say anything after that next bit. Well, the reason why logically Pilot enters is presumably Pilot and the others are all mm. there. So it's, 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 it's you've gone off and collected Pilot, Caiaphas, and Annas. So that's that's what you're, you're uh, that's that's what's happened with third third mile, and that's why you're back in. Okay, lovely. Sorry, Richard, if you'll just uh, do uh, from wherever you left off. So, right, there came no power him to fet, but such a sleep on us he set that none of us might him let to rise and go his way. Now, by the oath that I have to Caesar sworn, all you dogs' sons, be fawn to mourn, shall die therefore, think no scorn, if it be on you long. If that you have privily sold him to this his company, then are you worthy for to die, right in your own wrong. 
Now, by the order that I bear of night, he rose up in the morning light, by virtue of his own might. I know it well of fine. He rose up, as I say now, and left us lying. I what near how? All be amazed and in a swoon, as we had been stricken, strict swine. Fie, thief, fie, traitor, fie on thee, thy thrift is full bare, fie, fiend, fie, feature. High hence, fast I read that thou fare. That time that he his way took, dast I never neither speak nor look, but for fear I lay and quook, and lay in a sound dream. He set his foot upon my back, that every life began to crack. I would not bide such another shack, for all Jerusalem. Fie, harlot, fie, hound, fie on thee, thou tainted dog. Why lay thou still in that stound, and let this that losinger go on thee grog? Sir Caiaphas and Sir Annas, what say you to this trespass? I pray you, sirs, in this case, advise me of some reed. It's interesting. It's almost like Pilate, especially with his opening sort of boast, his opening oration was, was, uh, uh, had a certain similar quality to some of the more proud kings uh, that you have with Herods and things. It's slightly more like that than it has been the sort of more humble. And then here, he just goes off. He really has a, t- a tantrum, doesn't he? You know, five, 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 five. How many fives have we got in there? There's about ten. And, and it then turns to you. So he's really quite miffed, you know, because he said earlier this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ba- ba- basically, you local leaders have dropped me right in the ground yeah. and stick it. Now, good sir, I well, do and, and, to, and to be fair to him, it must come as a hell of a shock. Yeah. What's happened to him? Um, he came back from the dead, honest. <laughs> Great! <laughs> You're all dead. I'm killing you all, OK? And it's not unfair. Right, now, good sir, I you pray, hearkens to me what I say, for much avail as it may, and do after my spell... Pray them now, Sir Paddy, as they love and well thee, here as they stand and all three, to keep well our counsel. Sir Bishop, I say to you, verament, unto your counsel I fully assent. This foolish prophet that we ought to rent, to his witchcraft was stolen away. Therefore, let us call our counsel together, and let us conclude to the whole matter, else our laws are done for ever after. Now, in good faith, full woe is me. And so I trow, been all ye, that he is risen thus privily, and is from us escaped. Now I pray you, sirs, as you love me, keep this in close and privity, until our counsel, until we have heard how he escaped. Lovely. And that's, I think, the last we hear from our trio of Caiaphas, Annas and Pilate. I don't know if they come back again in the rest of the sequence. I think that's, that's, that's the, them and good night. <laughs> Uh, well, oh, dramatically, they're buggered. Yeah, well, they've got nowhere else to go. Yeah. Um, uh, they do turn up in other uh, plays in, in, in the future story, uh, beyond uh, what's covered in the, the, the cycles, because they do turn up in um, uh, Paul's conversion. Um, so that's, mm-hmm. um, uh, that's, that's an interesting one. But we'll come to that another day. <laughs> OK, so who did we ha- have? Uh, who, was, uh, who was Mary Magdalene? Was you Mary. were Mary Magdalene. You were Jacob. Mm-hmm. I was... Uh, Salome. So, um, Richard, um, you can be one of the angels, and you be Mary Salome for this this particular reading, and okay. Richard and I will be the angels. Okay, okay, that works. That'll keep us going for a while. Okay. Alas, now lawn is my liking, for woe I wander and hands ring. My heart in sorrow and sighing is sadly set and sore, that I most loved of all thing. Alas, is now full low lying. Why am I, Lord, so long living to lose thy luxom law? Alas, wail away is went my help, my heel from me is hent, my Christ, my comfort that me kent, is clongen now in clay. Mighty God omnipotent, thou give them hard judgment, that my sovereign hath so shent, for so I may well say. Alas, now marred is my might, my Lord through whom I was light, Shamefully slain here in my sight, my sorrow is I unsought. Sith I may have no other right of these devils that have my lord so dight, to balm his body that is so bright, boist here have I bought. Sister, which of us every one shall remove this great stone that lieth my sweet lord upon, for move it I nay may. Sister, mastery, it is none. It seems to me as he were gone. For on the sepulchre sitteth one, and the stone away. Two children there I see sitting, 
All of white is their clothing, and the stone beside lying, though we near and see. What seek ye, women? What seek ye here with weeping and with unliking cheer? Jesus, that to you was dear, is risen. Leave you me. Be not afraid of us in fear, for he is gone without and weir, as he before can you leer, forth into Galilee. This is the place, be ye a pay, that Jesu our Lord was in lake, but he is risen, as he said, and he then went away. Hie you for aught that may befall, and tell his disciples all, and Peter also tell you shall, there find him that you may. Ah, hie we fast for anything, and tell Peter this tiding. A blessedful word we may him bring, sooth if that it were. Yea, walk thou, sister, by one way, and we another shall I say, till we have met with him today, my dear worth lord so dear. Ah, Peter and John, alas, alas, there is befallen a wondrous case. Some man my lord stolen has, and put him I wot not where. Okay, we can't go back into our previous configuration of Peter and John, so I think if Richard, if you be Peter, and I'll be John. What? Is he removed out of the place in the which he buried was? Yea, sickly, all my slace is gone, and he is not there. Peter, go we thither anon, at running as fast as we may gone, and look who hath removed the stone, and whether he be away. Abide, brother, sweet John, lest we meet with any fun, but now I see none other one to run, I will say. Eh, hey, Peter, brother, in good fame, my Lord Jesu is away, but is sundry sooth to say lying here, I find, by itself, as thou may see, far from all other clothes it lay. Now Mary's word of ver sooth vere, as we may have in mind. Yea, but as God keep me from woe, into the sepulchre I will go, to look whether it be very so as Mary to us can say. Ah, oh, Lord, blessed be thou ever and O, oh, for as thou told me an other mo, I found thou hast overcome our foe, and risen art in good fay. Ah, oh, Lord, how shall I do for shame? that hath deserved so much blame to forsake thy sweet name, to meet with thee by any way. I that in penance and great annoy my sweet Lord forsook thry, save endless hope of his mercy thereto trust I may. For nay, it were his great grace and sorrow in heart that in me was. Worse I were then was Judas, my Lord, so to forsake. Peter, comfort thee in this case, for sick up my Lord Jesus, accept it has thy great repentance for thy trespass, my Lord in heart will take. Go we, seek Jesu anon in high, one way thou and another way I. Yea, well I hope through his might my penance shall him please. Oh, he's a miserable sod, isn't he? Um, in it. And I've cocked up slightly because we're going to have Peter who will, and because I've forgotten, Jesus does pop in again, doesn't he? If, uh, Liz, could you read the angel that's going to come up? It's not a desperately big part. Um, but anyway, Mary Magdalene, uh, having seen but sort of done not sure and sad again, it's all very confused, the whole logic of this. Hence will I never sickly, so I be comforted of mine annoy, and know where he is readily. Here will I sit and weep. Woman, why weepest thou so I? Son... For my Lord is taken away, and I want near thee sooth to say, Who hath done this thing? Alas, why were I not dead today, Clout and clong and under clay, To see my Lord that here lay, once at my liking? Why weepest thou, woman, tell me why? Whom seekest thou so tenderly? My Lord, sir, was buried hereby, And now he is away. If thou hast done thee me done me this annoy, tell me, leaf sir, hastily, anon this ilka day. Woman, is not thy name Mary? O Lord, I ask thee mercy. Mary, touch not my body, for yet I have not been with my father almighty. 
But to my brethren go thou in high, and of this thing thou certify that thou hast soothly seen. Say to them all that I will gone to my father that I came from, and their father he is also high. Look that thou ne dwell. Ah, be thou blessed ever and oh, now wave it is all my woe. This is joy to them and other mo. Anon I will go tell. Ah, oh, women, well now, women is. My Lord Jesus has risen he was. With him I spake a little ere this, and saw him with mine eye. My bale is turned into bliss. Mirth in mind there may none miss, for he bade warn that was his to heaven that he would flee. Ah, sister, go we search and see whether these words sooth be. Sooth be. No mirth were half so much to me to see him in this place. Ah, sister, I beseech ye with full wind, wind we, for fain methinks me list to fly to see his fair face. Uh, oh, while we're paused, um, because I've cocked up and you can't return to being Peter again, uh, if, uh, I'll, I'll read Peter coming up. All hail, women, all hail. Our Lord, we leave in without fail, that thou art risen us to heal. And waved us from woe. Ah, oh, welcome be thou, my Lord sweet. Let us kiss thy blessed feet, And handle thy wounds that were so weak, Ere we may hence go. Be not afraid, women, of me, But to my brethren now wend ye, And bid them go to Galilee, There meet with me they mun. Anon, Lord, done it shall be, Well is them this sight to see, For mankind, Lord, is bought, bought by thee, And through thy great passion. Peter, tidings good and new. We have seen my Lord Jesu on, in, on life, clean in hide and hue, and handled have his feet. Yea, well is ye that have been true, for I forswear that I am you. Therefore shame makes me askew with my Lord for to meet. But yet I hope to see his face, though I have done so great trespass. My sorrow of heart know he has. And to it will take heed. Thither, is, <coughs> and thither as he buried was, I will hie me to run apace of my sweet lord to ask grace for my foul misdeed. Peter, knows thou not me? Hey, Lord, mercy I ask of thee, with full heart kneeling on my knee, forgive me my trespass. My faint flesh and my frailty made me, Lord, false to be, but forgiveness with heart free thou grant me through thy grace. Peter, so I thee be hight, those should forsake me that night, but of this deed thou have in sight. When thou hast sovereignty, think on thine own deed today. That flesh is frail and falling a, and merciful be thou alway, as now I am to thee. Therefore... I suffer thee to fall, that to thy subjects hereafter all that to thee shall cry and call, thou may have meaning. Sithen thyself so fallen has, the more inclined to grant grace. Go forth, forgiven is thy trespass, and have here my blessing. The less they deserve, the greater is your bounty. Mm -hmm. Well, we got we got through what was quite a quite a chunk of text today. Mm -hmm. um, I did power through because I was a bit worried we might not get through it all in time. Um, so we can sort of go back and talk about anything that we sort of looked at today. It's an awful lot of travelling in that last one. <laughs> I don't think it's in real terms very far, but there's an awful lot of going over here and coming over there and coming back. And, and I've always found there's a having your cake and eating it of having the three Marys and then Mary Magdalene both having the sight of the, the, the angels and then she sees Christ and it's sort of like, you know he's already risen, so why, is, and it's like this awkward turnaround why she has to be sad again for when she, she sees Christ. It, it's, the, it's one of these really awkward, untidy mm, things. It's, the, the, it's very difficult to perceive any real desire to cut to the chase. Yeah. No. But, uh, the, but the resurrection is so important Yes. You can understand them actually, if anything, for the falling over backwards to give it full weight. Yeah. 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 
you know, they, they basically go through the resurrection three times uh, in different ways. And we have little boys playing the angels. So there's obviously, you know, they're, they're making sure that this is a multi-generational episode because mm. they do explicitly say these boys, so the angels appear as, as little children. But yes, it's, it's, the, it's the same thing three times. So you have that almost knockabout fast. I mean, it's actually those um, soldiers crawling about on their hands and knees at one point. Um, you know, the blindness is, yeah, I will creep forth on my knee till I this peril pass be for my way I may not see neither earth nor stone. Um, you know, how did they do the blinding of them? How did they do this brightness that's supposed to be occurring? It's an interesting question as to mm. how they signified it because they probably wouldn't have done it literally. We've got to think about how things were signified to the audience, uh, uh, what conventions they might have existed. I mean, that's why it interests me, is just in the sense of talking about doing something about brightness and blinding, and, and you know, uh, which is one of the few effects I can't really see them being physically able to do. I mean, that's presumably why it's so heavy in the dialogue, is just simply they've yeah, yeah. done something. <coughs> they say it. But whether there's a signal... I don't think the stage direct, there is any, <coughs> any stage direction there indicating something has happened. So that's, but then you, never, you don't necessarily always get stage direction. Well, but there's movement indications in the text, mm. so my heart oh, yeah, really is now shaking. Yeah, um, to remove, I know, to remove far or near may fails me fight. Um, um, we have music uh, indicated as well. Yes, yes, oh yes. Um, and that's something that turns up in Chester all the time with lots of little music. <laughs>